we've made it. I didn't realize they were redoing the freaking paint on the street. It smells like but all good. Okay. The hair is giving rich mom. It's so short, it's so fabulous. We also did a blowout. And now I'm on my way to go meet up with Austin. He's at work right now, but I'm gonna go stop by and have lunch with him because I'm like kind of in his neighborhood. Oh my gosh, I don't even know who I am. It looks so good though. I'm back home now. Yes, Austin didn't really recognize me on the street, but he did like a double take, you know what I mean? I like fake walked by him, which is so mean of me to do, but like, whatever. Um, the hair came out absolutely amazing. Ronell at Mirror Salon is my go-to girl. I've been going on and off since 2020, like I said. This was the info picture, which was this photo from Lucy Hale. Very messy, very undone. And we were gonna style my hair that way, but then we both decided the blowout just looked too good. Um, the blowout looks incredible. So I got basically up to my collarbone in length and then a ton of texture at the ends so that it looks really full and fun and has like a lot of movement. Overall, I'm really happy with it. I mean, I'm gonna, it's gonna take a minute to adjust to not have my long hair, but I was just like, whatever. Like, it's hair, it grows back. Short hair is fun. And it's also hot, like it was 80 degrees today. So it was great to have this hair, but just so glad that my mop is gone. Then afterwards I went to Whole Foods to pick up a few things for dinner and I saw that my dry shampoos were on sale. These ones I use not because I want to, well I guess there's a partial want, but these are just very good dry shampoos if you're someone who's looking to be on the more natural side of things. Um, it is a powder dry shampoo so it's a little bit messy. This one is the Coco one so it's colored dark and this is just their plain uh, generic. They smell really nice. This one has a rosemary and lemon scent, and this one I believe is just the cocoa. And I mean, they're they're you know free of parabens. They're vegan. They don't have mineral oil in it, formaldehyde, petroleum, yada yada. There's a lot of gunk in dry shampoo, but like it works. You know what I mean? But my big thing was I wanted to stop using the aerosol can dry shampoos because there's butane in it. There's all these other things that I'm like ah. So for now, I use these. It works okay. You do have to use a decent amount of it. And then I also picked up this guy because he was on sale. I think everything was like 50% off at Whole Foods. So I was like, all right. I like Pacifica. It's a good brand. I'm going to try this Ginger Root 10-in-1 Hair Volumizer. Magic Hair Boost, Ginger and Vitamin B. So it has all these different things of like what it does. It adds volume, thicker, extends style, oil control, dimension, whatever. So got these goodies. Um, and we'll see how this goes because Lord knows I'm not going to be able to style it like this again. It's a bird. It's a lemon wedge. Good morning. Or afternoon, I guess. We're heading to Soho. I'm wearing my full Brandy Melville fit with some Stuart Weitzman sandals. Why is back? And I'm loving the short hair. Like, it's so fun. I did wash it and blow dry it, and I added some root spray, which I'll actually show you. Austin, can you put the toilet seat down? This was, this is the root spray that I used. It worked really well. No like weird film or like residue in my hair. Smelled nice. Did a few spritzes of that and I honestly do think that it worked. I wouldn't say my hair is like huge, but it looks pretty good. Okay, we're starting off with a haul for Matches Fashion. I have a bunch of little goodies here. I also have a bathing suit and a top from Jacquemus. What? So I'm gonna try to put everything on in the vlog because I haven't tried it on. I literally just got the package. So let's do that. Okay. First item are these Frankie Shop shorts. They're a little more sheer than I wanted them to be. Um, and I realized they look a little like candy, <laughs> candy shop thing. Um, but I just live in these in the summer. They're so comfortable. The waistband is also really comfortable. I think initially when I saw these, I was like, they're too tiny. I'm not gonna be able to fit them, but they're super comfy. They are really high-waisted, but I think they'd be so, so cute with like a little cropped white tank, um, obviously a button down. They have really nice pockets. Um, I, I will find a use for them. Okay, I'm really bummed, but these do not fit. And I don't know if maybe the tailor can get them to fit, but I can't even button them. 
They're like so snug. They're also really, really high rise. But I'm thinking maybe the tailor could get them to just like move the seam over because they fit everywhere else. Like the zipper clearly fits. They just don't fit in terms of like pulling that over. I guess the zipper is a little bit snug. Um, we'll see what to do. Oh, I'm so bummed. I liked these shorts. They were kind of like an elevated striped pant, easy to throw on, really comfy. Um, all right, maybe we can do something with them. I'm probably gonna re resell them because they were like 40 bucks. You guys, I'm screaming because first, this skirt was all I had wanted, but if you can tell, the zipper just like split as I was putting it on. And I'm so bummed right now because there's like no way I'm gonna keep that. And then this top from Jacquemus, I sized up because I was worried about it being too cropped on the sides. And because of that, it's a little bit big on the sides. Essentially, the size up would have been like even more cropped and even less fabric here. And I was like, I don't need to have my side move out that much. But the top is stunning. There's the back. It is so fun. So cute. Oh, I actually think I can... Okay, we can adjust in some ways. We can... There's, there's options here, but I'm so sad about this skirt because it's so cute and the material is really beautiful, but it's got to go. Like, this is faulty. There's no way. I hate putting bikinis on my channel, so I'm going to do it really quick. But this bikini is so cute. It's funny. I got the medium bottoms and I was like, they're not going to fit me, but they fit. I think they're meant to be like a higher rise, um, like a high leg, but they fit low rise on me because they are bigger. The top, though, is like pretty freaking tiny and i would never think that i have like a big boob but i definitely think i do for this top um but it's so cute so i'm hoping austin can like adjust some of the straps in the back but otherwise like i'm obsessed with it i think the color is super beautiful i love the braiding um yeah so that was kind of a fail haul but like, i just packed my bag up she's real heavy um, but I'm gonna go lay out at the pool. First, I have to drop off a big old package and then we should be on our way. I also have a Pilates class at four. So hopefully I should get a good hour in at the pool before and then maybe sometime after and then we'll come back. So let's get going. <music> And now we're gonna walk, take the long way home to the subway. Whoa. Is that way that's going on? I don't know. Anyway, my camera's being very dark right now. I don't know why. But I'm gonna take the long way home, get some stuff in, and then go home and make some dinner because I'm a little hungry. And then that's our day. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful Tuesday. I am just going to make a little breakfast and then we're hitting the road. I need to pick up some food for the week. Uh, we're celebrating my offer this week, which I'm really excited about. We're going to one of my favorite restaurants, um, a little bit more casual because this place is just like a really fun like atmosphere for daytime or for like happy hour. It's called Servos, uh, located in the Lower East Side. So I'm really excited to go. And then um, I do have a friend's dinner i believe on wednesday so i'm just trying to eat a little bit healthy but yesterday you guys saw i went and hung out at the pool and i was just journaling a little bit for um, some of the meal plan options that i'm thinking of doing i feel like whenever i get a little bit off track or i feel like i'm not really happy with how i'm eating or what i'm putting into my body writing down my thoughts and ideas is really helpful for me it's like stress relieving so I wrote out a whole grocery list and some of the meals I was inspired to make. So we're going to go pick that up. So again, 
I just got done at the gym and now I'm on my way to go to Italy. I want to pick up some sardines. I know, just go with it. I'm having a phase right now. So they're the only place that sells fresh ones versus canned. So we're gonna walk over there. It's like a 35, 40 minute walk. Starting off with arugula salad. Made it up to the roof. And then I'll show you guys a little bit of what's going on. Got some sardines, Portuguese sardines. And then we've got the potatoes in the back. Hello, hello party people. I've got a pretty boring day ahead, so I'm going to end the vlog off after today. I have to go back to the grocery store because you know when you go to the grocery store and you have a list and for some reason there's like one item on there that you just, for some reason your mind like blacked out on and for me that was tahini. And I had multiple recipes this week that I was gonna use tahini with and I was like, dough, like what? So I'm going back to get that and then a few other things that Austin had asked for. And then I get to go pick up my sandals, which I dropped off at the shoe guy earlier this week. Um, I'll show you them and give you the whole backstory. And then tonight I have a girl's night. Um, we're gonna be going to drinks at Nine Orchard. And I'm gonna do a get ready video and like get dressed video separately, because I love doing those. Um, then I'll also share the outfit with the vlog. Also today's outfit is very Princess Diana. I'm wearing the navy headband from Brandy this oversized sweater that I got at a gift store, bike shorts, and some sneakies. Oh, look at those disgusting mosquito bites. Summer. So if you follow me on TikTok, you already saw this. If you don't, I got a little gift and I am just extremely grateful. Um, Austin and I have been talking about this little jewelry piece um, since last year and we were just like waiting for the right time to get it so I'm gonna share with you guys here and yeah I got a beautiful little knot ring she's gorgeous I'm gonna give you guys a close-up as well the box itself is like stunning and can you believe Tiffany charges five cents for this bag duly noted but um, yeah I'm gonna try it on for you guys and show it to you on my finger so here she is Please ignore my nails. I'm hiding them from you guys. She is a knot, and then there are little diamonds enwrapped in there. I actually liked the plain band, but Austin was like, get the diamonds, girl. So here we are. Um, she's absolutely stunning, and like, what a beautiful gift for me to have for the rest of my life. <laughs> 